Okay, this example will look at ocean water pressure. We have a formula. P equals 14.7 plus 0.4 X gives the pressure in pound per square inches at a diving depth of X feet. What would the pressure be if you dove 50 feet? Okay. So, which is which? Is which is pressure and which is feet in the in the formula? Okay, X or P? What which is which? So it says P equals this gives the pressure. So P is the pressure, right? What does X represent? A diving depth of X feet. So what it's talking about is here's the water. Okay, there's the water, and you dive into the water. Okay, and the pressure as you go down under the water, the pressure increases. Okay, and it affects you know you can feel it, and ob obviously it can affect your brain in, in in ways that you might have heard of. But anyway. Um, that's why divers are careful uh, when they dive deep they've got to come up slowly and all that type of thing you might have heard of that before anyway so the pressure gets gets higher it gets it gets more and more pressurized the deeper you go and th this formula gives gives uh, gives you the pressure given a, a diving depth of x feet so x is the diving depth okay so if you dove 50 feet so if you dove down 50 feet below the surface of the water, okay, what would the pressure be? So this is 50 feet is X, that's the depth. What's the pressure? Okay, well let's figure it out from the formula. So what we're told here is that X equals 50, okay, and so we can now calculate the pressure. P equals 14.7 plus 0.4 times x which is 50 okay so we've got to multiply before we add remember PEMDAS don't forget PEMDAS when you're calculating something you have to think of the order of operations you've got to multiply and then add or subtract right 50 times 0 0.4 well 5 times 2 is 20 um, well, I guess I could write it here. 50 times 0 0.4. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 5 is 20. There is one decimal point in the problem, so there's going to be one decimal point in the answer. So 20.0, right, is what that becomes. So it's 14.7 plus 20, or 20.0, same thing, which is... 34.7 pounds per inch squared okay which means that literally for every square inch of your skin here's an inch okay here's a square inch this is an inch squared okay this is a square inch right there that's a square inch for every inch squared so that's about my thumb or so part top part of my thumb is about a square inch it will feel on my thumb there it'll feel like I've got 34.7 pounds pushing on it so uh, imagine resting 34.7 pounds on uh, my thumb there that's what the pressure is gonna feel like so anyway Okay, what depth would result in a pressure of 22.7 pounds per square inches per square inch? Okay, what depth would result in a pressure of that? So this time they're giving us what? Are they giving us the depth of the pressure and what do we have to find? So there's two variables: this pressure and depth. Okay. And we'll write down the formula. It's P equals 14.7 plus 0.4x. Now, when they say this, are they asking for the pressure or are they asking for the depth and which are they giving us? Okay. So it says, what depth would result in a pressure of that? Pressure. 
they've given us the pressure, haven't they? So in place, we write down the formula, and in place of P, we put 22.7. And then we fill out the formula, and then we solve. Okay? We've got to get x by itself. x has been multiplied by 0 0.4, and then 14.7 is being added. What should we do first to get x on its own? To get x on its own, we should subtract 14.7 from both sides. Okay. So what do we get on the left? 7 minus 7 is 0. And what's 22 minus 14? That is 8. So 8.0 or 8 equals 0.4x. How do you get x by itself? x has been multiplied by 0 0.4, so to undo that you must divide by what? Divide by 0 0.4 on both sides. Okay. So we get 0 0.4 over 0 0.4. These 0 0.4s actually cross cancel, and that's why we get x on the right. Okay. And we've got 8.0 over 0 0.4, and what does that mean? It's, so it's 8. 0 0.0 over 0 0.4. When you're dividing decimals, what you can do in this case, for example, is just times the top and bottom by 10. Okay? You might not remember that from Math 60, but that's what we can do. 8 times 10, what does the top give you then? You see, and what, what do you get in the top and bottom now? You see, 0 0.4 times 10 gives what? Move the, moves the decimal point over. So 0 0.4, like 40 cents times 10 gives you $4, doesn't it? 40 cents times 10 gives you $4. $8 times 10 gives you $80. So 8 over 0 0.4 is the same thing as 80 over 4. And then we can put that in the lowest terms, can't we? See, 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 8 goes twice, and 4 into 0 goes 0 times. So we get 20 over 1. So this thing is simply 20. So x equals 20. And what does that mean? The question was, what depth would result in a pressure of 22.7 pounds per square inch? What that means is, if you went 20 feet. So the answer is a depth of 20 feet is the answer to that. Okay.